Hello everyone. Today's question is she cathode or end? Now before uh, starting this discussion, I'd like to mention one thing that if you have prior knowledge about what is cathode, what is anode, then half reactions, half cell, galvanic cell, all these terms, it will be easier for you to understand this video because here my focus will be to answer this question that is whether she is acting as cathode or anode. First you have to know what is reference electrode. The potential of individual half cell cannot be measured. So it's just like you cannot clap with just one hand. You have to use two hands simultaneously. So it is also same. We can measure only the difference between the two half cell potentials that gives the EMF of the cell. Now suppose uh, I am saying that X is very tall. Now it doesn't make any sense. But if I am saying that X is taller than Y, why do you exactly know the height of y suppose it is 5 feet that means x as taller than y that means it must be greater than 5 feet okay so similarly here there must be some reference electron based on which we can measure the potential for the other system now electrode whose potential is arbitrarily fixed or exactly known at a given temperature that will be known as reference electrode so here you can see three examples and one of these example is basically she the short form of standard hydrogen electrode some other examples are also there but we will focus on this SHE so here we have the representation of standard hydrogen electrode SHE where we have H plus solution in this beaker and hydrogen gas at one atmosphere it is bubbled through this solution there is platinum electrode and also the outlet for H2 gas now if we enlarge this part of platinum electrode you can see the surface of platinum electrode here H plus that is H2 it can release electron and it will be converted to H plus and the opposite process may also occur that is H plus it will accept electron and it will be reduced to H2 okay so she can be defined as the electrode in which pure dry hydrogen gas is bubbled at one atmosphere pressure that is fixed and this is room temperature 25 degrees centigrade on a platinum foil through a solution which is containing H plus ion 1 molar unit activity. Now it is general convention by international agreement she is arbitrarily assigned a potential of plus minus 0.000 volt. Okay, so simply remember it is 0 volt and this is the general convention that we follow. So as you have already seen that the two processes that H plus is accepting electron it is converted to H2 and uh, H2 it is releasing electron and H plus that is this is oxidation the first reaction that you are seeing here it is oxidation H2 is releasing electron and it is oxidized to H plus which you can see in the left hand side process and in the other process that is H plus is accepting electron now it is reduced to H2 and this is the example in the right hand side picture now in both cases it is 0, 0.0 volt but as we know that oxidation when we consider it is anode and when we consider reduction it is cathode so that is why both the uh, processes are mentioned here so first we will see the example where uh, this she system it is acting as anode that means oxidation reaction will occur so half hydrogen it is balanced equation as there is only one H plus so half hydrogen it is converted to H plus and one electron so corresponding E naught value that will be represented in this way now see this uh, diagram this is very simple uh, form of how we represent cell right and by general convention we mostly write anode in the left hand side and cathode in the right hand side so in the anode there is hydrogen electron that means she is here and it is always the electron flow uh, direction is from anode towards cathode now the other system it may be any system so in general it is represented as m n plus oxidation state n plus it is accepting n number of electrons these electrons are coming from hydrogen that is hydrogen is releasing electron and itself converted to H plus 
these electrons are accepted by m n plus and it is reduced to m so here reduction is occurring here oxidation is occurring and what is the other possibility the other possibility is now she is in the left hand side that means now it is acting as cathode so now what will happen h plus will accept electron that is now the reverse process is occurring h plus is accepting electron it is reduced to h2 and where from these electrons are coming it is coming basically from m so m is now converted to m n plus that is oxidation state it may be m2 plus m plus 1 3 plus whatever and n number of electrons so now these electrons are coming from this system and it is going towards cathode where h plus is waiting so that it can accept these electrons so both the processes are possible so the answer of our question is depending on the other electrode coupled with c uh, she that is she it may behave as cathode or it may behave as anode so suppose if you are she and some uh, other system is in front of you which is electron rich what it will do uh, what you will do you will accept electron from the other one that means now you are reduced other one is oxidized and if you are uh, it's that is if you are electron rich now you will give electron right so you will be now oxidized and the other one will be reduced so in this way she can behave as cathode or anode and it depends on the other system whether uh, the other system is uh, reducing tendencies high or low compared to this uh, she system so here you can see all this list it is nothing but electrochemical series you can easily find it in any standard book so here we will focus on this part because it is actually the system uh, that you can see in she now mostly in electrochemical series not mostly i mean to say this is the general uh, way we represent electrochemical series it is always in the form of reduction so that is you can see all these reactions are written there is some system in uh, oxidized state it is accepting electron and then it is reduced to right hand side now as she system it is 0, 0.00 so all the system that are above this system all are zero uh, sorry having negative value so what it means it means that the tendency to reduce with respect to this system it is not high so that is why they are negative value that means when all these systems that are mentioned here it will be coupled with she now all these systems they will provide electron towards she that means all this system that will be itself oxidized and she will be taking this electron and itself will be reduced but for the other three examples as you can see these three values are positive that means the tendency uh, to be reduced okay as you can see co2 plus it is accepting two electron towards copper uh, converted to copper then we have silver so all these uh, three system though there are other systems also so here you can see that the tendency to be reduced that are very high so that is why they are having positive value now we will see two examples where she one is she is behaving as anode and another one is she is behaving as cathode so in one system we will take copper so when copper will be taken now copper will accept electron from hydrogen system that is from she but another example also we'll see which is based on zinc and as here the value is negative so now opposite process will occur that is zinc it will be giving electron itself will be converted to zn2 plus and h plus will accept the electron that are coming from zinc so here we have the example where she is acting as anode that means as we follow the general convention anode is always in the left hand side so now she is in the left hand side and it is uh, giving electron and that electrons are coming towards the other system which is copper so here copper 2 plus will accept electron and it will be reduced to copper okay and the other possibility that is other example where she is acting as cathode so as it is acting as cathode so now it will be in the right hand side because that is the general way we follow and zinc that is in the left hand side which is anode here what will happen 
Zn2, Zn will be converted to Zn2 plus and two electrons will be released. These two electrons will go, to, will move towards H plus and H plus will accept that electron. It will be reduced to H2. So it is depending on the other system and uh, from electrochemical series, you can easily get that idea that which system, that is other system with which you will couple she whether it will uh, behave as anode or cathode that depends on the value whether it is negative or positive now as you can see in the voltmeter it is 0 0.34 and we we have also seen in electrochemical series for copper copper 2 plus system it is 0 0.34 but if you are thinking that it, it should be minus 0 0.76 actually what happens when you consider e naught cell we first uh, write the e naught for cathode and then E naught for N. Now here for that is a system which is in the cathode side. Now in the cathode side you have she for which you considered zero value and in the anode side uh, there is Zn right. So Zn system. So for which from electrochemical series what you write you write 0 0.06. So ultimately minus minus it becomes positive. So that is why that value you are seeing here. So don't uh, be bothered about the plus or minus that depends on this calculation. But the answer to this question that is the question uh, in today's video that whether she is cathode or anode. So it depends on the other system. So the simple answer is it can act as anode or it can act as cathode. So I think this video will be helpful for you. And if so, then please go ahead. I'll meet you in the next video. Goodbye.